Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to look at some 16-bit game art. This is just a list of art I thought was good. Um, no particular order. First up is Golden Axe for Sega Genesis. So it's got a fantasy theme, pretty good art. And sticking with Golden Axe, Golden Axe 2. Again, very good art. Uh, the theme comes through really well. So I tried to get covers that had more than just one thing on them. A little Future Fantasy and Shadowrun. Not a great picture of the cover, but the cover is pretty cool. So it has that cyberpunk feel. Here we have Ghouls and Ghosts. Dragon Fury, which is a pinball game. So interesting cover for a pinball game. And we have Dungeons and Dragons with their classic CSR type art at the time. Blades of Vengeance, again fantasy themed because these seem to have the best covers. Here we got Splatterhouse, got a lot of cool things going on. Alien type monster, an octopus, a ghost, a hero. And Streets of Rage. I didn't put Streets of Rage 2 or 3 on there because the covers actually get worse and worse. Here we have Donkey Kong Country, a very bright and colorful cover, not a lot going on. You know, Konami is Contra. I mentioned Konami because the next one is going to be very similar, but they're both very good covers. And Konami again with a Super Castlevania. So, very similar art styles, just different um, guess, times. You know, one's fantasy, one's future. So, Konami. I never played this game, Rufia, but I like this cover a lot. It kind of reminds me of like Saturday morning cartoon I would watch. And I had to put this in, Rival Turf, right? Look at these guys. How much you want to play this game, right? And there's some covers from the 16-bit era. I left out licensed stuff like Marvel and uh, the common Mortal Kombat stuff because we all know what those look like. And you like them or you don't. 